hello friends welcome back to our channel so in our previous session we have seen how to build a docker image and how to run the docker image so in our previous session we have seen that we, our system doesn't have the java uh, java but we have created uh, a docker image which runs the java program perfectly in our system right now we'll see how can we push that uh, docker image which we have created in our previous session to the docker hub which is a public registry so that it will be available for everyone so every anyone can make use of that repositories or that docker images right so uh, let us check with this so our files are in docker demo so we'll move on with that particular folder docker demo and here we have seen three di three different files one is a docker file hello.java and welcome.py but also we can check with the docker images so we have created a python docker and a welcome docker right so we'll create uh, we'll push this particular docker image to the public registry so for that we have to log in with a docker hub so which is a public uh, registry just similar to our github right so just log in uh, with your credentials so create an account for this docker hub similar to uh, github so sign in with your uh, account and once it was done we'll see so this is a uh, user interface graphical user interface so we'll First, we have to tag that one with the repository. So for that, the command. So first, clear it. Now use the command sudo. I'll write here first. Then I'll execute. So sudo docker tag whatever the repository or what is the whatever the image we have done. So which is a, a welcome docker and to the repository this is my repository so repository and give the name okay so i'll give wd welcome docker wd and use this syntax which is the latest so this is the command we have to use for creating the repository okay for creating the repository now we'll execute the same thing here sudo docker tag and uh, the name of the image welcome docker and give the repository to which we want to push and give there the name repository colon latest so it will prompt for the password give the password yes it was executed now you can check uh, with the docker images so you will be getting the same thing see this is the thing we have done now we have to log into the docker hub so for that the command is docker login so username so i am giving my username you can give your credentials and also password so once it was done we'll get a message login succeeded now we have to push it so for pushing the command uh, sudo docker push and give the repository name followed by the name we have given wd whatever the repository we have to push okay whatever the image we have to push so the same thing we'll do here sudo sorry sudo docker push sandeep saradi this is a repository of mine slash wd and see so the push refers to repository requested access to the resource is denied oh what's the problem with this and uh, we'll check in the interface whether it has been created or not so no it was not created here so once again we'll check out uh, sudo docker and uh, push and give the name Sandeep Saradi 
slash w d okay so let us change the command so we need not give this sudo i think so just uh, give the command docker push let us check docker push give the repository and give the image so let us check once again the image here docker images yes we are having sandeep sardi at wd yes so you can go with the directed docker push the repository and give the image name and let us check whether it will be done or not yes layer already exists and uh, yes so we will check in the repository here so whether it has been reflected here yes so you can see sandeep sardi hyphen wd so previously it was not there but now it was pushed into this docker hub now anyone so even in your system you can execute my program so just use a command called so docker run and give the repository name and also the image name so wd so that the session i mean the the program will be executed so use the same command in your system and check whether it has been executed or not so please comment the result okay so this is how we can uh, push our docker images into the docker hub and make it a public registry and available in the public registry so that everyone can use it okay so you can use the same command in your system and check out so whether it has been executed or not so let's stop here uh, if you are having any queries regarding this one or if you feel any difficulty while uh, pushing or pulling the docker images so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoy my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much